Alright, I've been asked to make a video of my grooming process and how to shear an Angora bunny. So this right here is just my little setup. You do not have to have anything complicated. I have this tub. That's where I'm going to put the fur when I take it off. This is just a towel. And these are my trusty clippers. You can see they are pretty simple pet groomers. I like the wireless ones because... One, they tell you how much charge you have left, and you don't have a cord. The cord can sometimes, like, if it drapes over the bunny funny, they, you know, it just spooks them a little bit, and it just makes it harder to trim them. So, you can definitely do it with a corded one, or you can even just do it with scissors. In this video, I'm going to be using the clippers, though. It's faster, and this is my first bunny grooming video, so I want to make it as easy as possible. You had like a little better. It's recording. Okay. So the first step is kind of to part the fur so you can get kind of close. And then I hold it up tight like this. And the noise can scare them a little bit, so you just want to be careful. But while the fur is pulled up tight, I just kind of do short, small little steps. And then the fur I've cut off, I pull away. And you just kind of, I don't go too close because I don't want to cut the bunny. And this is Joanne. She is an English Angora rabbit. She uh, she's fairly young, so this is only like her second grooming. Most Angoras do pretty good with being groomed as long as you handle them a lot. And you'll notice how long her hair is. Oh, now she's moving a little bit, and they do. And I usually just kind of let them as long as they're not getting crazy. Um, if you have one that is not letting you groom it, um, having a friend help, like sometimes my son holds them, um, he holds them whenever like we're doing finger or toenails and they don't like their toenails to be trimmed. But basically you just do this all over the whole bunny and just be very careful when you get down to here because they do have a tail, it's hard to see. So make sure you find it and feel for it so you don't cut their tail when you're shaving them. But she has a lot of flowers. This will take a little while, but not too long. As you can see, I've already got a good half of her done. This is why I use the clippers. With scissors, you're going to want to do the same thing. Pull the fur up. Go cut close. Um, rabbit's fur can pull up as you pull, so you don't want to pull very hard. You just kind of want to pull to make the hair straight, not really pull on the skin itself. If you pull on the skin itself, it can actually pull the skin up, putting it in the path of the razor where they could get cut. And we definitely don't want to cut these beautiful babies. I mean, it happens. I've cut one before, and I felt very, very, very bad. He was fine, and he got better, but you still feel awful, and you ideally want to avoid cutting them. Plus, if you cut them, they will be less trusting. They will never forgive you. Oh, they will forgive you. But they will be less trusting and not as good for the next grooming. Possibly. So, you want to train them by being nice and gentle and trying to make it as pleasant a process as possible. It's alright, girl. And you see she's getting a little... I don't know if she's scared or bored, but she's a little bit getting a little bit fed up with me. Show the fur how much we've taken off so far. So I just put the fur somewhere safe so that it doesn't get like strung everywhere. And you know, if your rabbit does kind of freak out and run and they knock the fur everywhere, it just makes it a lot bigger mess. So I always try to Put it somewhere if they get scared and start kicking or jumping. I mean, it's not always in your control. You know, sometimes someone slams the door or something and can spook your rabbit. Even if you're being careful. And I try to do it like we pin the cat up so that she doesn't have any distractions. Like 
him scaring her, because our cat is not exactly mean to bunnies, but he tries to play with them against their will. Alright, girl. And they do not like the fur on their, like, chest and neck done that much, so that's kind of the hardest spot to do on these bunnies. If you, if they're not matted and you don't want to do it, sometimes I just skip it. But if they've got some mats there, then you're going to want to take those out so that they can grow in without any further problems. You go through this, it's going to be like, oh. I know, it's just the noise of the clippers. Right, you, you can probably stop, I think that people got the idea. Alright, so here she is. You can see they don't look beautiful after they've been trimmed. All her fur is nice and short. Um, I left her ears long because I just think it's cute. So she's all trimmed. She's not super happy about it. See, so yeah, she's pulling the towel around. But that's what you do. I usually do this once every four or five months. Or whenever their fur gets long enough, they look like they need it. Um, if you get good at it, you can make them look a little better by trimming the fur perfectly evenly but for me they look cute again in about a month because their fur starts to grow and even back out again so I don't stress over it too much um, she's happy she's not she didn't get cut you know I'm not gonna worry about like making every bit of her fur completely even and there she is this is Joanne I might have called her Brenda earlier she has a sister named Brenda and they look completely alike so but this is Joanne. Thank you for being our model. Even if you are unhappy about it.